Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, friends. Welcome to another episode on the Life of Signatures Radio. Today we get the opportunity to get started with yet another series. We've just come off a short series where we were talking something about purpose and uh, what else what else was there we're talking about purpose but we're going to continue talking about purpose also in this new series it's a show a daily show where we talk about purpose productivity and resilience in the past uh, series we talked about purpose and innovation i mean purpose and inventions we say that with purpose Everybody can be an inventor. But today we get to start. I want us to talk about five things that would boldly speak of you as a person of purpose. How would we know you're a person of purpose? There are five things that can easily speak and easily tell us that guy, that lady, that's a person of purpose. Stay tuned. <laughs> Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. I'm going to make it short and sweet in this episode. Even as we are starting, let me just put some kind of foundation. There are going to be five things we're going to talk about. But before we can start talking about those five things, let us just, uh, you know, kind of lay some kind of groundwork here. There are two ty- types of things that uh, I want to talk about. There are two types of people that I want to talk about. First, there's a group of people who know their purpose. They actually know it. Actually, there are three kinds of people. The the first group, they know their purpose. They have looked for it. They have sought it. They have found it. And they are doing it. Then there's another category of people who have known their purpose. They have looked for it. They have sought it. But for some reason, they have not done it. They are not doing it. Kind of like the parable Jesus gave of the guy who goes to throw seed to to plant and is throwing seeds, some seeds falling on fertile ground, some falling on rocky ground, and things start germinating, and then they are chopped by the the plants and the pieces, and so on and so forth. That's the kind of like the guy who knows what he's supposed to do, but he doesn't do. Okay? And there's another particular, very interesting particular. There's, There's another parable that Jesus Christ used. He said there's a two, 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 two types of guys, uh, sons actually. The father told the guy, the first guy, go and do something for me. And uh, <clears throat> the guy said, I'm going to go. And uh, he did it. And then the other one said, I am not going. And then they are he So he was asking, who amongst those two was the ashes guy? The ashes guy was going to do what was supposed to be done. Category of people, very special category of people who don't even know that they are in the purpose is there, they see it is spelled like this, it's spelled like that, they know it, and so on. It's not so easy. 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 I've gone through the eight steps of Papa's discovery that Papa can teach. But they know that what they are doing, this is, this, is, this, is what, this is what it's all about. They actually do see it. But in the end of the day, at the end of the day, at a council of this, you are easily going to identify personal Papa's and the person who is not pursuing their purpose. By what? Jesus said again, you shall know them by their fruits. Right? Someone can proclaim all they want to proclaim sometimes. For all of us in the Christian circles, we are proclaimers. We 
see these glasses that on the outside they reflect you but then when you're inside you see the outside so we'll go at, at the entrance and then we'll check ourselves in the glass and make some faces and so on only to get in and once you've gotten in that's when you realize oh wait a minute this guy was so seeing what i was doing i was fooling myself around now i'm looking here like i'm the most humble person People love to show off. They develop that trait from childhood. And at times, we, we, we want to feel superior to others, or we want to be accepted by others, or we want to feel important. It's just a human trait. So we pick some things, and other than others, to show off with those things. Yeah? We put our best foot forward, we put a mask on. We don't want to... If this purposelessness trend continues hmm? we realize that each working day the more we seek to show off the emptier we feel are not all that complicated. We are the ones who are making these lives complicated. And I say that it boils down to only two things. Number one, God. Number two, purpose. That's it. Everything else around life revolves around that. Those two things. But if we do life devoid of God, 
devoid of purpose. The result is emptiness. And no matter how many fleeting escapades we are going to have, we try and be, you know, f- uh, do things and acquire things, and we will not be fulfilled. Tomorrow we are going to continue talking about the purpose antidote before we can delve into the five things you can know that speak of purpose. Stay tuned and bye-bye. Thank you for listening to Life Signatures Radio. If you enjoyed today's show, subscribe to Life Signatures Radio on iTunes, Stitcher, or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com. Life Signatures Radio, fresh, clean, and inspiring.